What sunrise is every day, the beauty and the... Um, finally, Apple's latest must-have product is ready to hit Australian stores. Months after its overseas launch, the iPad is available today. They've sold over a million in America just alone. Uh, to tell us more, we're joined by technology expert and managing editor of Gizmodo, Seamus Byrne. He's outside the Apple store where all the action is. Uh, good morning to you, Seamus. Now, good morning. We've heard a lot about the iPad, but <laughs> what's it useful for? Um, look, I think one of the really cool questions right now is people are still not totally sure what it's going to be perfect for. What they know is that it sits somewhere between a smartphone and your typical laptop, um, but at the same time it, it does things in a totally different way. So uh, it is, a lot of people are saying it's just not much more than a, a giant iPhone, uh, but at the same time I think uh, that bigger space means that you're going to be able to do a lot more with it. Okay, there are a lot of sceptics, like I was talking to my local Mac and me bloke uh, in our suburb and he said he said originally I wasn't going to get one but then a mate of mine got one from America and let me play with it and I got hooked have you found the same thing have you have you played with it yeah well uh, yeah I happen to have one just here and um, yeah it's uh, it, it's it's pretty nice I mean it actually it uses a different kind of a screen technology to what a lot of the other devices use. Uh, you can see, I, I borrowed this off a, of a lady friend, it wasn't uh, my uh, home screen there. Um, but you can see you've got a lot of, uh, yeah, it, it looks a lot like the, the iPhone, as I say, but um, uh, it, that bigger space means you can really sort of dive in and look. And it, it kind of has this nice size where you really just feel like you can curl up with it, you know, on the couch. And, uh, so, and enjoy it. So it's not going to replace your laptop, but if you need to surf the web or, or check emails when you're on the go, this yeah. is like your, your little pad that you take along, like a notepad sort of thing. Yeah, and, you know, and you can add uh, things to it. So, I mean, the classic issue with the iPhone is people often say, you know, well, if I'd rather have a real keyboard. When, when you get to this size, you can actually add a dock to this that has the keyboard okay. built onto it. Um, and then instead of... Uh, you know, going through, I guess, all your traditional keyboard and mouse kind of stuff. You can just dive straight into this. Um, yeah, I mean, okay. if we, yeah, we can open up the iBook stuff and you can see it's all kind of very um, fluid and kind of very sexy, really, in um, the way it's been put together. Tell me about your shirt that you pulled thing, this thing out <laughs> yeah. of. You look like a kangaroo with your pouch <laughs> yeah. there. Is there a, are there clothing lines come out for it? So, yeah, there, there's like a whole bunch of accessories that are already hitting the market for it. And, uh, yeah, and one of those happens to be... Uh, this is actually uh, some Sydney designers uh, are getting a bit of world attention because they've come up with this uh, uh, <laughs> iClothing.com.au, I think. And, uh, yeah, you can basically put in your pouch. Oh. And as weird as that kind of seemed when you, um, yeah. when you first kind of see it, uh, it's actually quite comfortable. Yeah, <laughs> that, that just says nerd all over it. It, but, it does, doesn't um, it? <laughs> OK, just quickly, yes or no, worth it? Um, yes. OK. Shabbos, great to see you, mate. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> 6.48.